Hello folks, uh, this is Kiki doing Let's Play Army Man World at War Part 20. Uh, we're now going in the said city that we were clearing the way for last mission. And apparently trying to take out a tan at field headquarters. Uh, which our bombers had softened the defenses of. But unfortunately there's still some infantry and snipers lying around so we have to take them out. Luckily, there's no tan infantry with actual sniper rifles. Also, you may have been wondering where all the good stuff is. Where's the flamethrowers? Where's the machine guns? Where's all that? Well, they decided to put them in this mission. Just to make, just to make you facepalm. <laughs> But anyway, also due to the high detail of the broken terrain, uh, the frames per second is rather low. Uh, it goes from 6 to 13. Uh, and oddly enough, this city looks kind of familiar. Uh, but I, I could just be saying things. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about in a future LP. Uh, but um, th this town looks sort of familiar. Don't know why. Anyway, and it looks like we're finally pushing the tan out of the green territory, and uh, possibly this could uh, cause a ceasefire for the time being. Or at least make the tan retreat out of the greens territory. And uh, hopefully go from there. Well, it looks like there's snipers on top of the buildings. Also, the buildings are enterable. Some of them are, anyway. So make sure to check out each one, uh, pick out, uh, see if there's goodies inside them. And by goodies, I mean the submachine guns, the health packs, bazookas, all that good stuff. Unfortunately, invisibility is rather cruddy, but uh, we'll just clear our way through it. Luckily, a tan rifleman doesn't do that much damage, so we just slowly make our way out. Oh, and there's the submachine gun. It has 100 bolts. You can do a single shot like with your other gun, or you can just press and hold the button and it'll spam fire. It takes about five bullets uh, to take them out versus your normal rifle, it takes three shots, three to four shots. So uh, keep that in mind, and it's quite easy to conserve your ammo. So just kind of watch it and go with that. And feel free to abuse your auto aim while you got it. It'll take a couple shots for it to lock in, but it'll do it. Uh, that little tan guy's there being a little pain. But, uh, well. Looks like there's still some tan fighters going on and about. And our forces finally decide to catch up. So they'll clear the way for us, give us a little bit of a respite. Looks like that tan fighter is still going to keep trying to strafe us and buzz us. Oh, well, there's some, some more ammo for us. Uh, like I said, nothing really much to talk about here. But, uh, well, let's go on. Um, looks like we picked up some more ammo. But anyway, uh, for my compare and contrast, uh, I've got the uh, summary footage completed. I have to just do some edits on that. And uh, the title lists for the uh, 
Advanced Wars thing. I think I'm still going to use the title credits for those. I don't know yet. Oh, there's a tan there. I didn't notice him. Thanks, guys. Notice on my map there's like five or six little green dots there. That looks like the tan sent a tank on us, too. Oop, he's pointed right at us. <laughs> Might as well just let the tank pass by. Didn't spot us. Oops. Oh, that's a little bit of luck. It only took two shots to take him out. Alright, that's well, we're nearing the field HQ. Shouldn't be too much to left. Kind of, and looks like we got hit against the wall, so we just wasted a whole bunch of our machine gun ammo. Hopefully there's something nice for us that we can use to clear out that field HQ. We have to try our hands at a grenade throw. And I'm still getting winged. Okay, we'll just bum rush in. Ooh, flamethrower. And some more grenades. Hmm, flamethrower or hand grenades? Flamethrower or hand grenades? Let's see, let's use the flamethrower. And that's kind of smarting. I gotta wait for my reinforcements to arrive and provide it as a distraction while I rush in forward and clear them out. Oh, it looks like they're actually rushing inside now. And we roasted one. Yay! <laughs> Roasty, toasty marshmallows for everyone. Looks like we got even more green reinforcements. What the heck? <laughs> what is that, like 12, 20 of them? <laughs> Go ahead and take a look-see around. And that's it. We've secured it. So we'll go on to the next one. This is the uh, big gun guarding the entrance to the capital. And we have to clear this out so the tanks can get the get the tan out of here. Hopefully make them forcibly retreat. And uh, I don't know what's exactly behind us, though. But uh, they aren't going to assist us. And like I said, this city looks familiar. And But I don't know where, don't know why, but it looks close to the, the city similar to a Final Front. I mean, or Final Assault. I don't know. Uh, but when we get that far in the LP, we'll figure it out. Anyway, we'll force him to pop up. And no, I was not shooting through the wall. I was, I, I had my gun tipped out. Anyway, look, uh, that's a machine gun to hurt tank guarding, uh, their version of an 88. <laughs> Ouch. And there's some melted plastic there. There's some mortars. And we died before we get our shot off. So I'll try this again. And that's the objective there, so I see no reason to save state abuse other than maybe getting the mortars. Uh, just just due to the fact that it's a machine gun and there's no place we can really go with it. Let's see if I can hit this hit this guy with a grenade. That's a machine gun pit over there if you're wondering. Looks like that's a big no. Go ahead, advance up, take this guy out again. Uh, there's a med kit over there at the right corner there, and I don't see much purpose of it unless maybe you snag, snag the mortars and got lucky enough to get back here again to maybe get a shot off on it. But 
I see no purpose of that medkit being there unless you're really bad with that with machine guns. Anyway, I pressed the wrong button again. I was me in the crouch like that. And unfortunately he shot me through it, so we gotta try this again. Now oh, come on, I can do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Like I said, if anybody wants, else wants to do an LP on it, feel free. And uh, if anybody wants to write a game FAQ, please do so. Uh, this game really needs it. And I don't know why this game isn't as uh, popular as uh, it should be. But uh, but I will move on to the next ones for the war, the war seas and do gameplay comparisons and whatnot. Uh, just to let you guys know what's going on, and uh, I said, feel free to comment, evaluate how the LP went, and where I can improve on what you liked, what you didn't like. Uh, I'll, again, I'll try to keep safe state spam to a minimum. Uh, and looks like I died again. That machine gun turret tank is really annoying. So we'll just go back to our previous state. See, maybe there's some ammo or something back here. Nope. There's not. So we'll try this again. Well, I notice there's a big gray box here. Maybe I can use that for cover. It looks about my height. So we'll kill this guy and crouch, dive in, and uh, use these uh, wooden boards here as natural cover while we dive and get, get in the position behind this uh, greenish uh, supply thing, supply boxes. Fire a couple of mortars and just a prompt to say you gotta hurry up. So I'll take that out. And a direct hit on that should take this gun out. It does and uh, this part of the war is done and complete. So this will be Kiki signing out uh, for uh, Let's Play Iron Man World at War, and I will continue on with the next uh, part of the series. Uh, we're promoted to sergeant, and uh, that's that. So like I said, uh, I will sign out, and uh, see you in the next line. Uh, thank you.